please keep your pens closed and just listen as I talk through this. As we worked through equations in those slides the last couple days, we had a lot of things that were like this. And we looked at the left side of the equation and we started there. And I want you to think back to younger grades. We're used to seeing things like this where the answer is on the right side and the work is on the left side. But that doesn't have to be true. We could write this as 12 equals 9 plus 3. And we could have the answer over here and the work on this side. Are we all agreeing that that's okay? I want to just call your attention to the fact that I believe that this question is one of the first ones we've seen that's like that so far this year, where the answer or the is on the left and the work is on the right side of the equal sign. Not only that, but it starts off with a negative and it has a fraction. And over here, it says minus 11 and we've seen a lot of pluses. So just know your brains, if they got stuck here, that makes sense to me because it's a very different kind of problem. But it's not really. What if the problem had been like this? What would you do first? Jeremy? Uh, add yeah, we would add 11 to both sides. We're going to do the same thing. I shouldn't do that. My finger will get gross. We're going to do the same thing up here. We're going to add the 11 to both sides. Why? What's the two goals we have? Well, really, we've got three goals. The ultimate goal is to get x by itself, right? But to do that, we're looking at, can we make a 0 by adding or subtracting? Can we make a 1 by multiplying or dividing? Remember how we've been talking about that the last few days? This is going to make a 0. Then I have negative 21 and positive 11. What does that equal? 10. 10. It's the same as saying 11 minus 21. On the right side, we have 1 half x. Oh, it's a negative 10. Thank you. Thank you for catching that. Why negative 10? Because negative 21 is further from 0 than the 11. Right? Now we've got 1 half x. What is the reciprocal of 1 half? Say it louder. 2 over 1. I am going to multiply both sides by 2 over 1 because we want to get a 1, an invisible positive 1. If I do 2 times negative 10, I get negative 20. If I do 1 half times 2 over 1, I get 2 over 2 and the x comes down, that becomes my invisible 1. Are we feeling a little bit better about this? No? <laughs> Honest answers are fine. Let's remember our goals. We're trying to isolate the variable. We're looking to see if we can make a zero. We're looking to see if we can make a one. I'm going to look at the other problem I got a question about, which is much further on. We aren't, I'm not going to solve the whole thing. Here. Was it 10? Oh, and I wrote down 11. Thank you. I wrote down 10, but I'm copying 11. All right. Here is the other problem I'm starting to see questions about. This is a problem that has distribution in it. We have to take this 2 and multiply it by here and here first before we can think about this 0, 1 thing. 
2 times 1 is 2. 2 times negative x is going to be negative 2x plus 3 equals negative 8. Where are my like terms here? This 2 and this 3, and honestly also this negative 8, but it's on the other side of the equal sign, so we're going to ignore it for now, because our next step is to combine our like terms. 2 plus 3 minus 2x equals negative 8. I would normally do that on my head, but I'm trying to make it really, really clear. We want these two to go together. 5 minus 2x equals negative 8. Now I have a whole number, an x term, and a number. Now I can be thinking about the 0 or the 1 part. First thing we want to do is make a 0 if we can. Where do you see that we can do that? The 5. It's a positive 5. Why do I know that? Because there's nothing in front of it. So we have an invisible plus sign there. That means we're going to do the opposite. I said I wasn't going to solve the whole thing, but I'm still going. Are you happy, Matthew? <laughs> negative 8 and negative 5 equals what? And then? What's with the x still? What kind of two? What's, what's going to turn this into an invisible one? Yep. Divide by negative two, which is the same as, as multiplying by negative one half. Negative 2 over negative 2 cancels into an invisible 1. I'm trying to make a giant invisible 1 there. It's not invisible because I just made it really visible. And x is equal to negative 13 over negative 2. Negative, negative is positive, so it's going to be 13 over 2. And we don't need to convert that. All right. I'm going to unpause. I am not expecting perfection on this. We are practicing. We are learning.